Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is um, March 19th and I'm, uh, on 2023. I am going to do an extra premium prom that I haven't done before. Uh, ooh, did I click on some accident? I don't know. Uh, let's, let's get to it. Uh, if it's an SQL question, I'm going to try to do an SQL question. All right. This is new to me. Uh, so let, or, I mean, I know SQL, but I haven't done an SQL question on the code. So we, we'll see how this goes. Uh, and let me know in the comments whether you want to see more of this, fewer of this, you don't care, or maybe you don't even click through, so I don't know. Uh, all right, let's take a look. So basically, you have a table that looks like this. Okay. And you're the rest owner, and you want to analyze a possible expansion. Uh, there will be at least one customer every day. Write an SQL query to compute the moving average of how much the customer paid in the seven. Oh, I don't know this one. Or rather, um, hmm, it's kind of tricky because I think, I mean, I know the ideas behind this one, but but it's a little bit. Wait, maybe I misunderstood this one. But I mean, it's still going to be a little bit tricky. Um, depending on how you do it, because for some uh, SQL setup, uh, what is what is, what is this? Oh, okay, fine. For for some SQL setup, there is a uh, um, there is like a rendering function that you can play around with. Um, I don't know what because this is my first. I mean, maybe it's not my first SQL problem, but it's like one of my earlier ones. So I don't know what the expectation is with respect to how to do it. You can also do this with respect to. Um, you can also do this with respect to um, what was I going to say. Uh, with with uh, uh, with a with a self joint, but that is like ridiculously expensive um, in general. Uh, which I don't want to do unless I have to. So, okay, so let's kind of take a look what they're asking for. So, from do, 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 do. so the name doesn't even matter, right? So, it's just the sum, and then the average amount is the, the average amount is just the number of customers, I guess. Okay, so I'm going to try to self join one, but. I don't think this. This is also one of those things where, uh, you know, as an SQL statement, and or you, you know, you need to do a hive table or something like that. Okay, fine, maybe you do it this way. It it it, it actually creates a map reduce in the background and stuff like this. Um, but in real life, you wouldn't really use this query live on MySQL because that's just like a very silly thing to do. You would probably just do some other things that, um, uh, what, what do you call like an ODAP OLAP ODAP OLAP table or something like this or some kind of thing that makes it that is built for stuff like this right so that's why it's a little bit silly but I'm gonna play around with it we'll see so uh let's see first of all let me get the so let you do from custom I don't I don't know how to use lead code in this so we'll see what is this thing oh, feedback uh okay. So I'm just trying to see what is the situation. Uh, okay. And then basically now, we don't care about the ID, do we? No, I don't think so. Like, I don't think this... How much a customer... Is it like the number of unique customers or something? I don't get it. Uh, I don't... I, mm. They all have seven customers, so that's a little bit. Or maybe uh, I don't know how they want to write it. I don't know. Also, this is also one of those things where it's so much easier if you just have like two queries, which is why it's a little bit awkward to kind of do in one query. But I mean, it's in terms of problem solving, it's fine, I guess. But it's just like not what you would do in real life. Um. Yeah, okay, yeah. Um, so basically, first of all, the first thing I would do is maybe group by visited on, right? And then here now, you could do sum of amount and count of amount, something like that, just to kind of see it by, by, um, by day, right? So then now you can kind of see the day-to-day -day thing, and well, maybe I needed to do also visited on. Just to kind of for visualization, maybe we do a order by visit on, right? <clears throat> 
And yeah, and this is, I think, what they want, maybe. Right? Du, 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 okay. And then just take the average of. I don't know if this count even matters. But I don't know. Right? Uh, du, 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 du. So then basically, I don't know how to. I don't know how to quite do inner joints in a good way. Uh, I think this this one this thing bugs me only because, like, it's so far out of what you would really do with SQL. Um, in general, I mean, like I said, maybe using Hive or something like this, you would make like, um, you know, you would have an analyst that would do something like this. But. Uh, but even that, you would, you, in general, get hopefully get someone to build a pipeline such that you have like a fact table or something like that, or OLAP table or something like this, where you know you already have the aggregation here, and then your SQL statement would be much easier, right, or something like this. So it's all, all really awkward, and if it, it feels like uh, maybe I'm complaining a little bit too much, but it feels like it's very artificial. I guess is what I mean, right? Like you would never really do this um, in any other than like maybe Hive, like I said. But even then. You have a lot of windowing functions for that reason. Uh, okay. So can can I do something like this? I, I don't know the exact sin. I don't know my SQL um, like inner table stuff anymore. So let's see if I can do this. Every derived okay, fine. Uh, a uh, something like this, right? Okay, so you can do this. Um, even this is, I think, relatively, or maybe uh, it's relatively new to me because I have a back. <laughs> how, how, when I, so I start doing MySQL in 95, 94, maybe. Uh, and yes, if, if you do the math, you're right. That was about 29 years ago. So um, so that's why for me, I, I don't even know. I, I want to say it's recently, but... Uh, but maybe I'm lying because I don't even know if it's reason. It's reason to me because everything uh, that I did, you know, 25 years ago after that or something like this, uh, feels more recent. But okay, so then now you can do this um, in a join another one of this, right? On uh, visited on. So, so I don't even know why. Uh, I think it's just. Right, something like that. Let's take a look. Uh, okay, so this is good. I mean, this is exactly what we want, kind of. I mean, we 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 are going to modify this a little bit. Um, so how do we modify this? Um, I have to look up some. My I don't. I mean, I don't know if my head my sequel my sequel date diff type parameters. Uh, and I'm just actually here in case you're curious. Uh, okay. I, that actually is pretty straightforward, but it's, it's been a while, right? So, okay, so day diff of this is less than seven. Let's try that. It may have negative number implications, so it might not quite work, but uh, okay, so how do I want to, so right now I'm still printing everything. I want to structure it a little bit uh, more precise. Uh, and let's just do it one day at a time as well. So where C dot visited on is equal to. So let's just say we have C as the the lookup, right? Am I doing it in the right direction? Uh, looks okay. It has one to seven, uh, and then eight nine. So I think something. It's a little bit, um. Because I don't know if it's C minus D, but then it becomes negative. It's Y, right? Uh, I is there like a my SQL between function? I feel like I remember this, but I also don't know. Uh, between numbers, because I feel like that's a thing, but I don't know. Okay, between ah, oh, between is a thing. So between zero and seven, right? Say and then see again. Uh, okay. So now we have seven, and it goes from one to seven, which is what we want. Okay, and then now. We want to group by C dot visited on, and then now we have C dot visited on, um, and and then D dot. Uh, let's actually name these. 
uh, as the amount and as the count amount I don't know something like that uh, so D dot uh, the amount right and then we want to sum this and actually we don't need either of these then in this case so we can make that slightly better I mean, I know that's have this thing here, so it will. So now it has 860, which is what we want. And then now, of course, um, the reason why I wanted this is that so we can also do having uh, d dot visited on is equal to seven, right? Um, and then now we can remove this part because basically you don't want to do uh, 0106 or something like this. But uh, uh, I don't. That's uh, I forget the syntax for comments. Is it this? Maybe maybe my sequence is a little bit weird. Huh? Uh, oh, I, did I not? Hmm, do I have to put it here? I don't remember. Oh, well, well, wait, what? This is very weird. It's a uh, count of this is seven. Whoops. That's why it feels, that's why I was feeling weird. Okay, so then now it has this. Hmm. That's a little bit unfortunate or well, I thought that it would actually give me the other rows as well which is why I'm uh, a little bit sad about it <laughs> uh, huh hmm. okay I mean now that we can remove that I guess we can also just do count D dot visited on and then now we can remove this real quick just to see where I'm going wrong uh, Okay, so this is seven. Hmm. Oh, I see. No, wait, do I? Why is eight, eight, zero and seven? Zero and seven. I mean, between zero and seven is eight numbers, so that's probably why. But now I'm trying to think whether it is. So it should be zero and six then, right? Uh, yeah, probably. Okay. And then now it gives us roughly the. Wait, which one am I? actually outputting this is the one I'm outputting oh no no because oh, I took away the having okay so I can remove this and then now this looks good right or the first part the second part we could remove because that was for debugging uh, and then now we want the average amount so we actually just want well I guess we don't have to remove it after all so we just want this divided by this it may be an integer division so we may have to check uh, or eh. is that a uh, it tells you that to round the two digits so okay so it's not like i could hopefully f submit and yolo um we also need to maybe label the columns i don't know if that's true but that's fine i mean that part is actually the easiest part right uh i don't know how to okay uh i, I i'm not gonna lie I, I i need to google how to uh do my sql round two decimals say I don't know someone probably did it okay there is a round function I didn't realize that actually it's been a while um, also like when, when I use my SQL I don't really use it for presentational stuff uh, as that much so maybe that's why that's my excuse I'm sticking to it also to be honest like as an engineer engineer um, hopefully this is right yeah <clears throat> I mean, as an engineer uh, nowadays, you you want an ORM anyway. It's not a hundred percent useful for everything. Just to be clear, I'm not like oh, that's always use ORMs. But uh, unless you have a good, or I mean, you still should use uh, use an ORM and then override it with queries if you have special queries. But even then, you probably need a good reason to kind of map that. That I mean, there is to say there is a lot of, to be said about you know. Um, mapping an object to a relational row in which case is not always one-to-one -one, but you know it, it'll it's still like a good idea for most people uh starting off unless you really know what you're doing um to be frank um yeah uh whew. i think that's all i have for this one I don't have much. I mean, what am I? I don't know how to analyze this and be, or like give you feedback about analysis or something like this. Uh, I think inner inner table inner queries or whatever is kind of relatively new to me as well. I mean, I've, at least in my SQL, I've seen the syntax in some other places, but 
I don't know. I also came from the 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 time space where uh I think I had like a hundred megs on my database, and that was like a lot, right? Where nowadays, uh, you know, uh, I don't know. Th this video is probably bigger than a hundred megs if I upload before I compress it or something. Anyway, right? So, yeah, um, yeah. That's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think, and yeah. Stay good, stay healthy to good mental health. If you'd like to see more SQL questions, let me know. I don't know how much time I'd like to spend on these, but eh, maybe this is helpful, maybe it's not. I really want to know your feedback. Otherwise, I might just not do another SQL question. But but that's basically the idea of how you would do it uh, and some nuances with, as, uh, uh, from the perspective of an, of an actual software engineer and versus just like doing these SQL queries blindly. But yeah, uh, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think, uh, as I said. So stay good, stay healthy, to good mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.